Hello everyone, welcome to a short little tutorial on how to upload your own avatar to Chill Out VR, known as the Alpha Blend Interactive. First thing you're going to want to do is go and download the correct Unity, which currently for me it is the 2019.4.13 F1 Personal. After that, you want to go get the CCK, and then you want to import that first off the bat. Second thing you want to do, if you only want to test it for personal reasons, first get the model you want to upload. For me, it's going to be my Beetlejuice head, which I got for Halloween. First thing you want to go to do is drag the avatar in and reset the position. Ignore if you have missing scripts. These are dynamic bones. I don't have dynamic bones installed, so we're simply going to remove the component. Now that you have your model in, go ahead and apply any missing textures like so. Once you have it all ready, first thing you want to go to do is grab type avatar. This is how to get the avatar viewport in, like so. So once you do that, you don't really need to worry about this. You can reattach it if you want, but it doesn't really do anything. So I haven't messed with it. Now, before I continue, please understand this is my first time, only second time ever uploading a model. So I'm still learning as I go on. So as you can see, once you put the avatar script on, your voice recognition or voice position and your face where you can see will be down at the floor. Simply resize them. For me, 1.85 is usually the best view position for my avatar with a 0.1 to give it that right almost at the TV screen. Might need to go a bit higher. So let's try to find it. 1.3. That seems to be good. We're going to do the same on the other one. 1.85 and a point 13. Simple as that. You can also go through and apply visemes, or you can select auto visemes. If it doesn't work, don't worry. Just simply go through and, oh, that might be why I forgot to add the skinned mesh rendering. Once you have it on, hit auto select, and it'll automatically apply every visem for you without you having to go through and manually select each one. If your avatar also has a blink animation, you can apply those as well. However, Mine is a TV screen, it doesn't really have eyes, so I don't need to apply it. After that, you can also enable advanced settings. That's a little more advanced, I haven't learned that, but what that basically allows you to do is extend it for the creation of your advanced avatar settings, allow you to setting up multiple different properties with your avatar. Simply uh, mesh changes, I believe, uh, particle effects, uh, audio, and as the such. But since we're just simply uploading an avatar, we're going to ignore that. Once you've done everything, you can simply minimize this, go over to here, and simply upload. However, there is something I want to bring up. When you click off your avatar, you will notice the Chillout VR or Alpha Blend Interactive at the bottom of your feet. I have it disabled, so I will show how it looks. So if I click on my TV head and click off, usually down here the uh, Chillout Interactive logo will appear. To simply disable that, go to the gizmos at the top right hand corner and you want to disable CVR avatar. Click and CVR asset info. Click. Once you do that, this will disappear. Go to your avatar. Go up to the Alpha Blend Interactive control panel. You'll have to log in and create an account. You'll find your API key on the website. Once you do that, hit upload avatar. It'll ask you, do you want to save? We're going to say yes. It is also recommended that you simply make a new Unity file. You don't want to accidentally overwrite because it may cause issues. Once it saves your Unity package, wait for it to continue. As you can see, Almost done. It will freeze, don't worry. It'll do just like it does in VR chat and everything. So, firstly, when you are at this screen, it'll ask you if your avatar is not safe for work or safe for work with a few of the avatar tags. Please understand that if you do not tag your avatar correctly, you can face consequences. Do not, don't act child or don't act dumb, as the Payday 2 gang would say. 
simply tag your avatar as what it is. I have nothing on my avatar. I don't have any special effects or crazy things, so mine is safer work with nothing for the uh, avatar. I don't have flashing lights, audio, gore, small, huge, violence, or anything of this. So I'm just going to simply click continue. You can give it a name, so we're going to call it Beetlejuice. This is my Halloween avatar. You can upload a new picture by default. It'll automatically place the camera in front of your avatar. You can then click, you need to click two legal requirements. You hereby certify that the upload content belongs to you or is licensed to you. I know that uploading copyrighted content without the author's permission can get my account restricted and or have legal consequences. You also hereby certify that the tags are set correctly and fit the upload content and know that and knowingly know that setting the wrong tags is a serious offense and that your account will be punished if you continuously set the wrong tags. Meaning if you are if someone is trying to be malicious and they upload an avatar without the correct tags, it will get deleted and you'll get a strike on your account. Three strengths will cause you to get a ban and you cannot be unbanned. Please take this into thought. You will then hit proceed with upload. It will automatically start the upload process and give you a little timer bar that will show you the process. So we're going to wait for that to finish and then I'll open Chill Out VR and we'll go ahead and check it out. It's 100. There you go. Your upload is simply finished. Click OK. Log into Chill Out VR like I have done here. Whoop, a little bit of lag because I just uploaded a new avatar. There we go. So as you can see, I've already gotten my TV head in. This was the first avatar I tried. I'm in the default home world because I haven't set a world, so, but that doesn't matter. Go to your avatars. As you can see, Beetlejuice is now uploaded. So let's change into him. Give it a sec, and there we go. Beetlejuice is properly uploaded. You can't see the visings because I am in my home world and the mic is disabled. We'll go to, but I can tell you it does work. And that is how to upload an avatar to Chill Out VR. Thank you for watching, and if you need any more tutorials, don't be afraid to reach out. My name is Mama B, and I hope this helped. Until next time, keep on buzzing. Bye, everyone.